the Jonge, the Oregon, 1937. In 1934, Dirk de Jonge gave a speech at a public meeting in Portland, Oregon. The meeting was organized by the Communist Party, and the speech was about jail conditions and an ongoing labor strike. De Jonge was arrested by the police and charged with violating the state syndicalism law. This law prohibited addressing people under a doctrine that advocates crime or violence toward political revolution. After being found guilty, De Jonge motioned for acquittal on the grounds that he was not advocating violence or revolution and that it violated his rights under the 14th Amendment. The Oregon Supreme Court upheld the conviction, citing that he was assisting the Communist Party, which advocates violence and revolution. The case was appealed all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court. In a unanimous decision, the Supreme Court overturned the conviction. Although the Oregon law was proper, the application of it in this case was unconstitutional. De Jonge cannot be prosecuted for attending a peaceful meeting of the Communist Party because of his right to the First Amendment freedom of assembly. <laughs>